you can connect, you can conquer. That's the topic. If you can connect, you can conquer. I will read First Samuel chapter 17. Let me quickly read through verse 14 and 15. But David went and returned. Sorry, verse 14. And David was the youngest, and the three elders followed Saul. Verse 15 now. But David went and returned from Saul to feed his father's sheep at Bethlehem. Now, if you can connect, you can conquer. Every one of us, you agree with me that there is always something to conquer. Maybe bad habits, maybe enemies, or maybe difficult situations. There will always be something to conquer. That is why we, we, we are still existing, yes. And um, what you refuse to conquer today might be a problem for you tomorrow. Now, how do we conquer? There are different ways or methods by which a man can conquer. But one of the ways by which you can conquer is to leverage on the power of connection. If you are able to connect well, then you can conquer. There is nothing that you won't be able to conquer if you can connect. And we're going to use David as a very good example of a man that knew how to connect and he was conquering at every stage in his life. David was not a failure. So if you want to remain a successful person in your relationship with God, in your career, in your marriage, you must learn how to connect. Either connection with God or your connection with people. We are going to focus on your connection with God. But honestly speaking, you must not neglect your connection with people. There are some people that are having problems from one place to another. It is a problem of connection. No matter how sophisticated your phone is, if there is no connection on your phone, you cannot reach out to anyone. Even if you have good things to say, you need connection for you to reach out to the world. So leverage on the power of connection. That is why some people, they understand this, but they don't know how to go about it. You lobby your way to get connection with people at the top. You pay bribe, you do all manner of things. But I'm going to tell you the starting point. It's good to connect. But the starting point is to connect with God. One with God is more than the majority. Elisha said this to um, 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 his servant in the book of 2 Kings chapter 6 verse 16. Elisha answered the servant when he said, These people are many. Elisha said, Fear not, for they that be with us are more than they that be with them. He understood the power of connection. At this age, the problem we are having in the Christendom could be traced to the problem of poor connection. You see, when you are making a call and your connection is bad, you might be hearing the person and the person won't hear you. And that's exactly what is going on in the Christendom. Hatred, you know, lack of trust, insincerity, lack of integrity, disobedience, you know, comfort, you know. These are some of the things that are going on and we can trace it to what? Poor connection. Now let's go back to the life of David and see how we can apply that to us. Now David in 1 Samuel chapter 17 verse 15, David had opportunity to stay with King Saul. Remember the first job he got after his anointing in chapter 16 was to work with King David. And what was his duty? To play his harp whenever evil spirits torment King Saul. Ah, uh, uh, that, ki that, that kind of work is a very tedious one. And uh, it leverage on the power of connection. You see, if you can get it right with God, you cannot miss it in life. If you can get it right with God, you cannot be a failure in life. Your connection with God is very important. 